Hello everyone. Now we have to discuss about the topic on electromagnetic spectrum. What is an electromagnetic spectrum? So electromagnetic spectrum is basically it is the set of all the light rays that are arranged on the basis of their frequency and their wavelength. <clears throat> As we know that we are only specifically talking about the light waves. So there are different type of uh, light waves. So all type of light waves that are arranged in in a set that set is basically called the electromagnetic spectrum so we have like different type of light waves for example we have uh, radio waves we have <coughs> ultraviolet waves we have uh, infrared waves then comes our visible light waves after that we have um, x-rays and gamma rays so these all are the light waves we, you can call it rays or waves it's same thing so gamma waves so these are all the light waves the common thing in all of them is their speed they all travel with the same speed that is equal to the speed of light so they all have same speed that is basically the speed of light and whose value is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second so they all travel with this speed all right so now we will discuss which one has the maximum wavelength, which one has the minimum wavelength, which one has the maximum frequency, which has the minimum frequency. And also we will discuss uh, their applications and their uses, where these waves are used and uh, how do we use it. And in the end we will also discuss about the damage caused by the electromagnetic radiations. Okay, so in simple words, electromagnetic radiations, they are the light waves. Um, but in the electromagnetic spectrum, we have different type of light waves that varies depending on their frequency and wavelengths. Okay, so now we have to discuss the type of waves that are in the electromagnetic spectrum. So over here, there's a figure of the electromagnetic spectrum. Over here, you can see the wavelength is uh, decreasing. On the left side, the wavelength is higher. As you go towards the right side, the wavelength will decrease. So as you move from the left to right, the wavelength is decreasing. Now we will check what are the, first of all, what are the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum and how much or how much is the range of their wavelengths. So let's start from the left side. So first of all, we have the radio waves. So radio waves, they have the one of the maximum, uh, one of the very large wavelengths. Then comes the microwaves, infrared waves. Then this is the visible light waves that we see all around us. Then we have ultraviolet waves, x-rays and in then we have the gamma rays. So as you move from left to right, the wavelength they decrease. The wavelengths decrease. So the radio waves they have the wavelength in uh, in order of 10 to the power of 3 meters. So their wavelength is very huge like around 1000 meter. Then comes microwaves, they have slightly lesser wavelength. Then we have the infrared waves then visible light waves so the uh, the range of the visible light ray uh, the range of the wavelengths for the visible light rays vary from four time vary from uh, it's like around i'll write it over here from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer okay so on this side we will have 700 nanometer and on this end we will have 400 nanometer then comes the ultraviolet waves they have lesser wavelength than the visible light rays than the x-rays and then in the end we have the gamma rays so that's how the wavelength decreases the wavelengths decrease when we move from the left to right but when we move from right to left like in this direction the frequency increases the frequency increases now you check over here 
for the gamma rays the frequency is sorry the frequency decreases on the left from left from left to right it decreases and from left to from right to left frequency decreases and from left to right wavelength decreases so wavelength and frequencies they are opposite to each other okay so look over here for the gamma rays the frequency is in terms of 10 to the power of 24 hertz as you move towards the left side 10 to the power of 22 10 to the power of 20 18 16 12 10 8 6 4 2 so as you move from right to left the frequency decreases as you move from left to right the wavelength decreases and opposite is true as well as you move from left to right the frequency will increase and as you move from right to left the wavelength will increase so this is how the wavelength and the frequency vary in the electromagnetic spectrum and you should know what are the types of radiations that are included in the electromagnetic spectrum also one more common thing that you have to remember in the electromagnetic spectrum and it's about the speed as i told you earlier that the speed of light it stays constant throughout the electromagnetic spectrum no matter what type of wave we have so the speed of the light for all of these waves is three times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second this is the speed of light for all of these waves all right so let's move on to the next slide where we discuss uh, some of the uses of the electromagnetic radiations so let's start off from the radio waves so as you can see over here these are the radio waves they have the maximum wavelength so wave, uh, radio waves are used to broadcast radio and television uh, communication transmissions then comes the microwaves so microwaves are used in cooking it is used in radar technology it is used in uh, like cell phones and other signaling devices like uh, walkie talkie sets and other wireless devices so these are the um, waves that are used in some of the communication devices one um, a more important fact is uh, as you move from left to right side um, the range of the wave will decrease like the radio wave will have the maximum range microwave will have like lesser range than the radio wave range means moving from point A to point B for example point this is point A this is point B the distance as you move from point A to point B it it is the range so as you move from left to right the range will decrease so the waves will be able to travel less as as their wavelength decreases all right then comes the infrared waves so infrared waves basically it is associated to heating and some signaling the devices like remote controls metal detectors and it transmits heat from the sun fire and the radiators so infrared waves are associated to short term signal de signaling devices signaling devices and uh, the heating devices then comes the visible light visible light is basically it is uh, it helps us to make and to see the things around us if there is no visible light rays then we will not be able to see the objects around us so it makes it makes things able to be seen then comes the ultraviolet waves ultraviolet basically they are absorbed by the skin and uh, it is used in the fluorescent tubes and ultraviolet waves uh, they are also used for the sanitizing purposes as well uh, we sanitize the laboratory instruments by using the ultraviolet radiations and sometimes the ultraviolet radiations they are also used as uh, adhes in the adhesive materials like to um, as, as the adhesive purposes to join the ma different materials okay then comes the x-rays x-rays like they have like a very vast medical applications so they're used to view inside the bodies and the objects this is the main purpose of the x-rays and then comes the gamma rays gamma rays basically they're used in medicine for killing cancerous cells so um, when we give uh, the radiotherapy to a cancer patient we throw the gamma rays onto the cancerous part and it basically kills the cancerous cells in the human body 
all right so this is used for the cancer patients so these are some of the brief uses of the electromagnetic uh, radiations now we will see the damages that are caused by the electromagnetic waves so the m the biggest damage that the electromagnetic waves cause is due to the x-rays and the gamma rays x-rays and gamma they're like very harmful if you expose yourself to these two type of rays you will be more likely to have cancer so what do they do they basically they ionize the human the atoms in the human cells in the human body they ionize the atoms in the human body when you are exposed to when them so they ionize the atoms in the human body due to which the irregular production of cells take place the irregular production of human cells take place due to which cancer is caused or we can say that results in leukemia okay so these x-rays and gamma rays and gamma rays they are very it's they are really very uh, ionizing radiation so they ionize the atoms in the human body so when the atoms in the human body are ionized they uh, lose their purpose of the production of uh, the regular cells so they produce irregular type of cells and those irregular type of cells they are the cancer cells and uh, those cancer cells they like they increase themselves they uh, regenerate themselves like quite rapidly due to which um, cancer is caused so if we uh, we do not we do not catch that uh, we, we do not diagnose it like within a specific time then it will be very harmful it will be very dangerous for a person to survive so that's the most um, that's the most basic and the most worst um, damage that the electromagnetic wave can cause and also the ultraviolet waves ultraviolet waves they are also very dangerous for the human body so ultraviolet waves basically they do the same purpose they do the same thing they ionize the human and the atoms and cause the irregular production of the cells due to which the most common type of cancer that ultraviolet waves cause is the skin cancer so skin cancer is caused by the like ultraviolet waves all other waves they are not that much harmful so like we are okay with that but these three waves x-rays gamma wave gamma rays and ultraviolet waves these are the most three dangerous electromagnetic waves that we should not expose ourselves to uh, it's fine for the short uh, for the short period of time but not for the like you know for the longer durations so this is it for the topic on the electromagnetic uh, spectrum and now we'll move on to the next topic in the next video thank you